One, two, three. Let's ready with Teacher Nadia. Hi, Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. English Year 6 with Teacher Nadia. Today, we will continue our lesson with the topic of the composition times of waste items. There are two learning objectives to be achieved which are name the items made of the styrofoam and rearrange the waste items according to their decomposition times in ascending order, okay? Decomposition is the process by which the things are broken down into a finished compost in our landfill. Decompose ni adalah satu proses penguraian atau perebutan bahan buangan yang telah kita buang di dalam tapak pelupusan. And of course, different waste items have different timeline to decompose. Sudah tentulah, setiap bahan buangan ni mempunyai tempoh masa yang berbeza semasa melalui proses penguraian ini. And certain waste do not decompose. Apa yang membimbangkan adalah ada di antara bahan-bahan yang kita gunakan setiap hari Tidak boleh diuraikan. Maksudnya, ia masih lagi dalam keadaan sama semasa ia dibuang. You may find these notes of the composition time of waste items from your textbook on page 55. Can you imagine? The sad part is, styrofoam do not decompose. Besides that, they are toxic to burn and have low reuse value. Okay, styrofoam ni, dia tidak boleh diuraikan atau menjadi sebatian dengan tanah kita ni. Okay, jika kita ingin lupuskannya dengan cara pembakaran, dia akan mengeluarkan toksik yang lebih berbahaya kepada alam sekitar kita. Styrofoam juga mempunyai nilai guna semula yang rendah. Nowadays, items made of styrofoam can be easily found at a spot of industrial insulations, packaging materials and disposable cups. Still, we can minimize the use of styrofoam in our life. But how? First, bring our own takeout containers. Second, choose paper plates instead of styrofoam. Said, reuse the styrofoam products. And last but not least, make our own green project. Hooray! Exercise time! You can find this exercise from your textbook on page 55 too. Please answer all these questions by copying down into your E1 or E2 book. Good luck!